Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for your weekly. This is going to cover May 23rd to the 29th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Out of you guys are like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful darlings, let's jump right in. Okay. We're first gonna be looking at your day today, your love interest feelings, the block studies and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump in. All right, so what's going on my Cancer's Romantic Love Life, May 23rd to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's find out. All right, so it's gonna be May 23rd. May 24th, May 25th, May 26th, May 27th, May 28th, May 29th. This is going to be your love interest feelings. This is the block slays and challenges. And this is the overall outcome. All right, Cancers, let's see. Star card shows some hopeful energy. It looks like you get some kind of understanding, some kind of clarity here with the Ace of Swords energy. But because of this spiritual clarity, this is what's holding you up or causing you some obstacles or blockages. Mm. Or you want to find something out. Okay, uh, let's see what this is about. Let's go to the first day here. If the day today is confusing at all, Cancer, just stick with me till the end. I'm going to go over your love and just feelings, more into the block stays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Okay, so seems to me on the 23rd here, you guys feel like you're stuck in the middle of a situation. It says something comes to light for you. You're like, what the heck is this? All right, what's going to happen? Cancer's romantic love life. May 23rd to the 29th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's something about this party, this celebration, or people around this, and you kind of feel like you're stuck in the middle of the situation here. Hmm, on the 23rd. Okay, let's see more information about what this is about, Cancer. Let's kind of Cancer's Rancid Glove Life, May 23rd to the 29th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see. You're not sure about something. You have a lot of uncertainty about something here. When it comes to hanging out, celebration, people involved, partying, something about this situation on this day that makes you feel stuck in the middle. Hmm. Let's go further. The Cancer's Romantic Love Life. May 23rd to 29th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, so you're trying to figure out how do I overcome this obstacle blockage? Because this is a rather unique, unusual situation. And I see that there is a path here. Okay, this is very interesting. Okay. What's well, gonna have my characters? Romantic Love Life, May 23rd to 29th. Show me, let's see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, cancel, let's see. Something has come to light for you. You found out something. You're in like in the middle of this party or celebration or something, or you're socializing with some people and you get stuck in the middle of a situation. This could be some kind of text message, letter, document, paperwork, or something like that. Do you feel like caught in the middle of it? Seven of Swords shows me that on the 24th, there's some kind of secrets here. There's some kind of secret somebody was holding back, wasn't saying something. And this now has changed. There's gonna be this heart to heart conversation about it about this stuck and stagnant energy. Again, you guys feel like you're stuck in the middle of a situation because somebody's bringing you into their situation or they didn't tell you something and now you feel like in the middle of it. Okay, um, hmm. What the heck is going on here, Cancer? All right, 
What's gonna happen with cancer? Advance the glove I've made 23rd to the 20th. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Okay, so we got this. Okay, I just reshuffled the deck again. All right, there's a relationship here. What I really wanted to do was shuffle this deck. <laughs> okay, so there's something that comes to light about this relationship that you didn't know about. There was something secret here. All right, what's going to happen to Cancer's Romantic Love Life? May 23rd to the 29th. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Okay, so you find out about some kind of, the reason why there were some kind of delays or obstacles in a situation when it came to a family or children situation. Okay. I see that there is this, or the children card to talk about Somebody was childish, you know, okay, held something back, okay, that also could be the case too. All right, so we see on the 25th, temperance is a healing energy. Temperance is a patient energy. Temperance is, okay, something needs to come into balance, like the Six of Pentacles. The temperance is the major of the minor of the Six of Pentacles. All right, so I see that there is this cautious energy, like, how do I fix this? How do I bring this into balance? I'm really cautious about this. And we see that there's, this is abrupt for you, sudden. Um, I see that there is a sense of attention being put onto this situation, okay? And the sense of wanting to protect this. And we see that there is uh, some kind of opportunity, abundance, okay, of attention. Hmm. So I see that there were some delays here because maybe a child is involved in the situation or children or family or somebody who was being childish. We see that there's going to be some opportunities that are gonna present itself. Somebody wants to shower you with gifts. Somebody is looking at you like, okay, there's, uh, there's an opportunity here that I wanna protect. So they were trying to protect you because they, they felt like you have a lot of uh, ability to have a lot of options. So it's like they didn't want to tell you about something. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. So it looks like there's a person on the 26th that's going to defend their position against these other people. Like, I have the higher ground, I want to win this situation. I'm deeply in love with you. I'm deeply in love with you. And there's something around this situation that involves a karmic or an infringing party family member, friends, okay, uh, or just a karmic around this, okay. I'm in deep, I deeply love you. Yeah, there's a deep love here. And uh, it seems like there's this concern about um, spiritual karma or something. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. You're definitely in a state of confusion here about the whole situation, like what the heck um, on the 27th? Uh, because there's something involving money and finance around this. And uh, I want to bring things into balance to heal this connection. I see this, there's an offer of a new beginning, fresh start, but there's a cautiousness here when it comes to this communication. Okay, so there's obstacles or blockages around this. Okay, so obstacles or blockages and delays. Now, it could be, the card itself talks about could be because of a child, of somebody, maybe you have a child, they have a child, or wanting to start a family, okay? Blending families together, or because somebody was celebrating, having a good time, that because we did see a party around this, and uh, we see that there were some opportunities here. But we see that there was some door that opens, and someone has wants to deal with these issues from before, and talks about it. Okay, so marriage is involved with the situation, because I see a Hierophant card here. Yep, marriage involved with the situation. Hierophant, again, double clarification. I've been doing a lot of soul searching about this, thinking about this, and I wanna free myself from this situation. And I wanna go for it, I wanna take a chance. Uh, there is some connection around a twin flame. Communication about a twin flame. Okay, wow, what a reading this week. So an ending of a tough cycle, 10 of swords energy. And we see that there's gonna be some traveling going on or someone's gonna to travel towards you. Okay, going further. 
I'm gonna, they're going to open up about their feelings and try to fix this situation because of this spiritual connection. It seems like this is the week for it, that's for sure. I don't know if you guys saw the Gemini reading or even the Aries reading. Very interesting readings. Okay, obstacles, delays in somebody was being mature, childish. We see that there is, you have a lot of opportunities here. Someone wants to talk about something from before and communicate with you about a twin flame, soulmate connection, a spiritual connection. Okay. Something has come to light about a relationship and there's a sense of protective energy because of deep love and there's a caution or a defensiveness in taking a risk to try to heal the situation. It's like, I'm cautious, I'm defensive, I don't know. Okay, something unusual comes up for you guys. You get stuck in the middle. Um, you obviously have a lot of choices, options. I see a lot of people surrounding you. There's a love here and a new beginning, a fresh start. Someone's like, I don't care what's going on with those people. I want to free myself of the situation. I want to open things up and I want to talk with you about this. Okay, let's also make sure that we get the other card for that deck as well. The ending card here. So it is somebody you have very strong chemistry and passion with. Okay, so you start out because you find out something that really causes you uncertainty in this conversation. And it's a bit abrupt and it's something to do with a karmic or an ex-partner. And uh, it's like they want to fix the situation, want to bring things into balance. They've been doing a lot of soul searching here about the chemistry and the passion. Okay, so there's this party and this massive change and a cautiousness about love. We see this money and finance situation and something about marriage involved with the situation and travel. Okay, so this hangman's here is saying, I'm stuck in the middle. There were some secrets here. Someone kept something from you and they want to fix the situation. They want to defend their position around the state of confusion when it comes to this marriage and the ending of a tough cycle. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Let's move this out of the way. And let's take a look at how your love interest feels about you. Your love interest, Cancer, sees you as their ideal partner. There was concerns or there's concerns that you won't accept what they have to offer or they're concerned you're bored with them or they've missed some opportunity. They are strongly attached to you. They have strong desires for you. There is an obsessive energy. There's some thoughts and plans about this house and home situation and we see healing, doctor card energy coming out. I miss you. And when the timing is right, when it comes to this letter, message, document, paperwork, or communication to you, you amaze me. I really want you. I see there's an opportunity with us. I'm hopeful. I know you have a lot of options, but I want to talk with you. I want a long-term commitment. I feel like you're a past life connection and there's been limitations. Okay, so this is some kind of clarity you guys get that kind of like stops you in your tracks. Like, what the heck? Okay, something from before. I see somebody from before, regrets from before, uh, dealing with something from before. There's uh, isolation or separation. Single and available to pursue. Something about a soulmate connection. Someone who wants to clear the air, who wants to heal the connection. Yep, someone who's saying hello again. Okay, so let's see the information here. Okay, overall energy is self-focus, focusing on self, isolation, separation, nine of pentacles energy, single and available to pursue. There's a person who is like, my hands are tied. I feel trapped in a situation. And then I see there's communication that comes in fast. Someone wants to bring something to a head. Someone wants to make a, a point. 
There's something involving the situation involving another person. And it's going to cause a massive, big shock and surprise. But it is a message you've been waiting for. There's something about this situation involves a relationship and a defensive energy in a state of confusion around this. You're defensive here. And we see there's been some thoughts planned. Somebody's been sitting back thinking about this. And there's abundance coming in for you guys. Okay. Stable energy. Someone who could be a spiritual connection wants to bring things into balance and they don't want to give up on the connection. There was something about this situation. It seems like there's a situation ship here. So I see uh, this could be more than one person around it. And someone decides they want to gain their freedom from the situation because they're in love with you. They're saying you're their true love. So it seemed like what the deal is, you may not have known that marriage was involved in the situation, okay? Or you didn't exactly know why they couldn't free themselves from the situation, but it looks like they're gonna come forward and tell you the truth and it's gonna give you clarity. And it's somebody who is like, I'm not gonna let you go. I have clarity. I know that there's a spiritual connection here and um, I wanna stick around. I wanna bring things into balance. I wanna fix this connection. Now I see why you're kind of like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? Okay, so let's let's get you guys some advice. So when it comes to my cancers for the highest best good, for the best possible outcome for them, what should cancer do uh, for romantic love life for their highest best good? May 23rd, tonight. Show my cards you see. Show me the cards I need. Two, C. Okay, have a backup plan. You need to clear the air here when it comes to following your passions. Trust your instincts on this, listen to your higher self. And this is talking about being on guard, defensive, and see the bigger picture. Adapt to the situation. Free yourself from any guilt or shame. Know your value and your worth. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's just, uh, let's pull another deck here. Hmm. Okay. What should Cancer do when it comes to the romantic love life for the highest best good for the best possible outcome for them next, from May 23rd to the 29th for their highest best good when it comes to romantic love life? Show my cards you need to see, show my cards you need to see. Hmm. The shady card's coming out. Look at the signs or synergies around this. Listen to your intuition when it comes to your feelings. Temptation, some kind of infringing party. Listen to your intuition when it comes to strong feelings. Speak your truth when it comes to this travel situation. You deserve better or concerns about jealousy. We see there's something about rejecting the situation when it comes to the state of confusion and listening to your intuition. So basically the bottom line is saying, listen to your intuition, okay? And if you feel like something doesn't seem right, speak up on it, okay? All right, my beautiful Cancers, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know what I always say to you guys, okay? Follow your heart, listen to your intuition, okay? Because. You, we all have our inner guru, our own inner guidance that we're supposed to follow. Us readers are only supposed to be here as guidance for you guys, okay? You guys make the final decision. So you don't have to take my advice if you don't want to. But what it is saying is to follow your intuition, okay? And uh, to speak up if you feel like something doesn't feel right or seems off or like there's some red flags or something around that situation, okay? So just uh, make note of that. But of course, you don't have to follow my advice if you don't want to. But Cancer, definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Okay, if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I'll see you guys in another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.